Natural gas takes a bit of a hit early on Tuesday. This is Chris from FX Empire taking a look at the natural gas market. And you can see right off the, the bat here on the four hour chart, we've seen some pretty negative action. That shouldn't be a huge surprise because quite frankly, we've gone straight up in the air. The question is whether or not this little bit right around $2.50 holds. I hope it doesn't quite frankly, because I could be a buyer at lower prices. Natural gas, of course, has gone straight up in the air for the last several weeks, and sooner or later, it is going to have to take a bit of a breather. It's a bit of an odd market, really. I think one of the biggest problems that the traders have with it is you don't always know the contract that your CFD is based on. Most are based on the Henry Hub, Louisiana contract, meaning you're trading U.S. weather. And as somebody who lives in the northeastern part of the United States, I can assure you the weather is not stable. So therefore, you get these massive moves. There's also concerns about natural gas uh, supply in Europe again. So that means that they may be coming over to Louisiana to pick up their nat gas. It just remains to be seen. But we also have geopolitical concerns and everything else to worry about, quite frankly. This is a market that's overextended. So for myself, I have sold off some of my ETF position a couple of days ago, um, willing to buy it again down here, taking the leverage out. Natural gas is not something you want a lot of leverage in because a sudden spike in temperature in the summertime can cause something like this, just as uh, the markets can completely collapse like we've seen a couple of times over the last uh, couple of years. So protect your account. If you're going to trade natural gas, do so with low leverage. Use an ETF if you have the ability. If not, then a small CFD position should suffice because quite frankly, this is a market that can just rocket in either direction. I'm looking for support underneath to add to my UNG position in the ETF and take advantage of what should be a longer term move. But uh, we could see a move all the way down to $2 and I would still be very interested. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.